Hey guys, welcome back to Chaos Core Tech. My name is Garrett, and today we are going to be looking at the differences between the Elegoo Mars and the Elegoo Mars Pro. So naturally, when we got the Elegoo Mars Pro, my first thought was, what's different about it? And we talk a little bit about that in our Mars Pro video, um, which I will link over here, I believe they are. So if you haven't seen that, go check it out. There are a few things like um, a gasket and a fan to help ventilation and stuff like that. Those don't really affect print quality, but they're just kind of nice things. So those are obvious just to reduce smells and stuff like that. But they had a few things like um, the bed, which was supposed to adhere better, which I think we have uh, proved that that is the case. Uh, almost too much so, actually. We have a lot of troubles getting our prints off of the bed on that one, um, on the Pro. But then they said there was something with the um, uh, UV LED screen on the bottom that was supposed to uh, produce more crisp prints. So that's what we're going to be testing in today's video. We're going to be taking a couple models and printing them on both printers in the exact same size and everything else just so we can compare um, and see what the difference is. We chose two different models. The first one was Chelsea's Catalyst model, um, which we haven't actually shown in a video yet. So if you want to see more about that, the file is on our Patreon. I'll link that below. Um, but it's very, very highly detailed. There's lots of little things in there. It'll help show off the differences in the dense detail spots and just how crisp and how deep it can get some of those um, small details. The other one we did, we went the other way and we picked our Sonic model. And we did that because it has lots of really smooth areas and um, because sometimes high detail prints can kind of hide inconsistencies in the layers and stuff like that. So um, we're hoping with Sonic we'll be able to see a little bit more of a difference there. So now to talk a little bit about um, the slicing and things that went into that. Um, Chelsea put the, or hollowed it out and put holes in it in Cheeto Box, took it to Prusa Slicer to put supports on it and then back to Cheeto Box to slice it. Um, there is a different profile for the Elegoo Mars versus the Elegoo Pro, or Elegoo Mars Pro. So we did have two different profiles there just because you kind of have to with those I think. Um, but we made sure that all the settings were the same, like the layer cure time were the same on both of them. Um, just to get uh, to get it to be as similar as possible. So we were even going to try and do um, like the same profile on both of them um, because there is a separate profile for the Elegoo Mars versus the Mars Pro. Um, but we and we tried that with the the Catalyst. We tried to do both the Pro profile, but the original Elegoo wouldn't recognize the file for that one. So we actually tried both of them with the original Elegoo Mars profile. So the Catalyst, you see, um, it was printed, both the Pro and the regular Mars were printed using the regular Elegoo Mars profile. But then on the Sonics that we printed, um, we changed that up and did um, the Elegoo Mars profile on the Elegoo Mars and then the Pro profile on the Pro. Say that 10 times fast. Pro profile on the Pro, Pro profile on the Pro, Pro profile on the Pro, Pro. So let's go kick off the prints. Why is this green? Stroke. No. <laughs> smooth. Yeah, we're gonna go smooth. I'm feeling smooth today. It's green again. <laughs> now I match. Okay, so the prints are done. They have been cured, and so they are safe to touch by little fingers without little fingers. <laughs> My little finger. No. It, it's okay for Trump to touch these prints now. <laughs> yeah. Okay, the prints have completed and we have let them cure so they are safe to touch with our fingers and not have gloves on them. 
So let's talk about the results. So first up, let's look at the Catalyst. Um, now both of these are pretty much the exact same print. They came from the same profile, just printed on the two different machines. And um, at first glance, there's not a lot that's different, but um, if you look, especially at some of the detail areas like in the shoulder or the forehead, you can actually see quite a bit of a difference. The, the details do look crisper, and they just look a little more defined, I think. And if you look at this spot on one of the horns, um, I think you can kind of really see it because it's kind of a smoother spot that the, the ridges aren't as defined. And in one of them, it sort of transitions and is just a sort of a bare spot. The other one, you can really kind of see the ridges a little more. So it does good with details, but how about smooth surfaces? So let's pop over to the Sonic model, like we're going somewhere. Hop on the bus, let's go over to the Sonic model. <laughs> We'll be shrinking down to the size of a molecule to be analyzing this one. <laughs> now this one, on both of them, you can kind of see some um, layer inconsistencies. There's some lines that go across them. But the regular Mars, the lines are much more pronounced. But if you'll recall, we did use separate profiles on these um, for the respective printers. So that might have had something to do with it, but the Pro definitely looks better in this case. Um, and even just some of the normal layer lines where it doesn't do any like shifting or bulging or anything like that um, it, it just does look a little bit better to me So you guys can look at the pictures and come to your own conclusion on what you think looks better um, But for us, I think the pro definitely uh, is a step up So is it really worth the extra money to get the Pro? And as of this recording, there is about a $50 USD um, difference in price. And so honestly, I would say, yeah, it is worth it to get the Pro. But if you can't, because like right now, I believe the Pro is out of stock, but the regular one is in stock due to um, world health reasons um, that we can't say on YouTube because we'll get demonetized. So if you need one faster, the regular Mars is still a phenomenal printer and does its job very, very well. But if you can hold out and wait for the Pro, I definitely think that's worth it. If you're interested in looking at any, any of these printers closer, we'll have links down below. Those are affiliate links. So if you use those links, you'll be helping support the channel. But I really don't think you can go wrong with either, either of these printers. And then if you guys wanna get your hands on this Catalyst model, which we will show off in more detail in a video in the future, um, it is available on our Patreon if you want to help support us. And then it's also over on Gumroad. I'll put links down there as well. But that's it for me. Thank you guys for watching. And until next time, keep creating.